Hello Aquarius, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career reading for mid-March 2022 or the next 7 to 14 days. Remember all my readings are timeless so they're intended for whenever you're watching. We're jumping right in with the Power of Surrender cards and I had a couple pop-outs already. Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Beautiful. I haven't seen that one yet. Not that I remember anyway. Surrender your need to always be right. Someone else got this. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Very nice. Sage advice there. I like that a lot, Aquarius. All right, so we're going to go over to the Gilded Tarot, and then I will go into the Quantum Oracle, and we will end with a Whispers of Love card. Okay, so this is a money and career reading, but any love messages that are meant to come out will, and then I'll pick a love card at the end for those of you who want additional love messages. All right, so we have the Two of Swords. Time to make an important decision, okay? Time to let go, let go of fear, um, let go of that blindfold, okay? Because there's something beautiful that you need to see, and this will help you make an important decision, okay? So make life happen. Don't let life happen to you. Okay, we can't control everything, of course. Um, not saying that at all. It's just that there are certain decisions we are capable of making. And if we don't, like something that's not meant to be, we'll just kind of be wiped out, kind of like the tower in the tower card. Beautiful, the four of wands, happy family, reaching a finish line and something. Um, reaching a finish line having to do with career, there's something to celebrate here. And there's rabbits on this card, which to me symbolize abundance, okay? So if you like to look up symbolisms, look up rabbits, like the rabbit or the hare. Um, and also there's a dragonfly. Okay, so those things are jumping out at me right now. Um, this is a celebration and um, re in relation to money and career, um, you are celebrating either a promotion or launching a new business, um, cutting that, um, that tape, you know, cutting the tape, like when you're breaking ground, like something like that. Okay, awesome. All right, let's shuffle a tad more here for Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? All right, got another pop out. All right, the Ten of Swords. This is the end of a very difficult cycle. I'm getting someone has felt slighted by others, but they can't harm you anymore. You're recovering from this. Look at all the light. Like even all these swords are like pointing downward. They're moving up and out. Like spirit is pulling these out of you. Um, anyone who's stabbed you in the back before, they have no power now, as long as you don't give it to them. And there's also a deer. There's a deer. There's a, a young buck here. So if you like to look up symbolism, like I said, there's a, a young buck or a deer. You're at the end of this difficult cycle. Um, you don't have any enemies anymore, Aquarius, unless you give them energy or power, okay? And you're getting your energy back. And we have the Page of Swords. So there could be someone kind of spying on you, um, trying to keep tabs on you. But if you disengage, they have no power, like I said. Okay? It's your time. All right. So I'm going to go over to the Angel Wisdom Tarot here and clarify the Two of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Oops. All right, clarifying the Two of Swords. Oh, we have the Ace of Swords. I like this. Look, brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with a faith that everything will work out, communicate clearly and concisely, and remain objective. All right, so everything will work out nicely, communicate clearly and concisely. And these are brilliant ideas coming forth that need refinement. So it's time to take the blindfold off because and the Ace of Swords, it's time for clarity. Okay, it's time for clarity. And then um, if you make a plan, you can refine that plan and then take action, okay? The Two of Swords is about um, taking off the blindfold and making a decision, then taking action. Like the next step is taking action, okay? There might be some things you haven't been wanting to see or hear, 
but there are good things for you. There's clarity here. There's also a victory here, okay? The victory comes once you take that blindfold off, okay? Like take your head out of the sand, so to speak, okay? Because the victory has to do with the celebration, celebrating you, celebrating your success, a promotion, starting a new business, breaking ground. Okay, I like that. All right, so clarifying the four of wands. Wow, look, we have the six of cups, six of water, children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past and romanticizing how things used to be, okay? So this might be with different people. It might not be how it used to be. This might be with different people, but starting a new life with a new work group, a new business, or a new romantic partner. And look, there's children and a little baby puppy here, okay? Starting something new and fresh, but this could feel um, feel like a very strong soul connection. It may be, <clears throat> and maybe someone like you, you already knew or already know, or it could be someone new in your life where you have a connection with that person that feels like a strong soul connection. It feels like you've known them forever. And like I said, this could be in business or this could be in love. And like the little boy is giving this little girl these beautiful wildflowers. <clears throat> this is a blessed connection here. So if this is in business, you'll know by how it feels. It's um, it's someone you're meant to connect with. And um, there's like a celebratory energy here between the four of wands and the six of cups. So um, <clears throat> there's an increase here. And... Um, there's an increase in positive connections with people as well. Clarifying the Ten of Swords, we have the Knight of Fire or the Knight of Wands. It says passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. <clears throat> Trust your instincts. Stay focused and a passionate relationship. Okay, so this is what's coming after all of this difficulty, like we see in the Ten of Swords. This is what's coming after. I'm sorry, this is what's coming after the difficulty. Okay, um, a better connection, a passionate connection. No more backstabbing, no more haters, okay? So it's a matter of who you choose to allow in your life, but that cycle is over. Uh, I'm getting like people in the workplace have been like giving you a hard time, not happy about your successes or not supporting, like maybe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe you have shared with them that you're looking for a new job and they don't want you to go. So it's important to be careful, like, you know, who you share that information with and keep some things quiet. And um, something requires immediate action here. Okay, and I think that has to do with, like, changing where you place your trust. Clarifying the Page of Swords, we have the Six of Earth or the Six of Pentacles. So this is about reciprocity. It says the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected flow of an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt and sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So you, you're having enough or you will soon have enough to share with others that you wish to share with and know that the good will come back to you. <coughs> Sorry, Aquarius. A tickle in my throat. Being paired with the Page of Swords. It's time to ignore the sneaky energy, the spying energy. Um, someone who just like won't let go of trying to know all of your business. Time to forget about that because this is meant for you. Um, this abundance coming in, the six, the six of Earth, the Six of Pentacles. This abundance is, um, it's deserved. It's because of the energy that you put out there. It's because of your hard work. This could be in your own business. If you've started your own business recently, I'm getting that it is starting to show promise. You are starting to receive payment and that will grow. The girl on this card, like she looks so happy and she's learning to receive. Aquarius, it's time to learn to receive. Look at this giant pentacle here, okay? It's time to learn to receive. There's more coming your way and you are deserving, okay? It's time to know you're deserving. All right, we're going over to the Quantum Oracle. Let's see what else we have here for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? 
Hope this is helping Aquarius. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'm finding that it's important to hit all notifications because I think that um, it's random unless you do that. <clears throat> all right. What do we have from the Quantum Oracle? Okay, we have number one. So if you like numerology, look up one. This is the energy of, I mean, this is a consciousness card, the energy of optimism. So, so be conscious of being optimistic. There's abundance. There's fruitful growth here. The sun is shining, which symbolizes abundance and growth. Okay, things looking promising, things blooming and getting better. Okay, and this has a lot to do with your efforts and where you place your focus. Another consciousness card here, number six, knowing that you're deserving. I just said that, didn't I? Know that you are deserving. Look at all of the beauty in this card. Look at the beautiful castle back there, all these beautiful flowers, all these different colors, and again, the sun shining. Know that you're deserving because all of these good things are here for you, Aquarius. We have a cycle card, awesome. You are in the cycle of increase, see? You're in the cycle of increase. It's time to receive. Time to receive, okay? And one more from here. We have a spirit card, number eight, the healing light. Call on God or source, however you pray, your guides and angels. <clears throat> Maybe do a healing medita meditation. Um, picture healing light coming from spirit, coming from the sky, down through your crown chakra, through all of your chakras. And then picture roots coming out of your feet into the earth to ground you, okay? absorb absorb the healing light from spirit okay important healing wants to come in for you all right so let's go over here to the whispers of love oracle cards see if we have a love message message for you aquarius do we have oops hang on one moment that went flying all right i got it all right, number 46, and that breaks down to 10. Again, another 10, the end of a cycle. I think I saw 10 somewhere here. Yeah, the 10 of swords. So I'm gonna hold this up together. It's the end of this difficult cycle, right? Like we see in the 10 of swords, but look at all the brightness around those swords, the healing light coming through. And that brings us to this, spend quality time together listen and talk to each other so for those of you already committed um it's time to spend some time together like remember the value in your friendship and your your love okay remember the value maybe pick a date night um there's manifestation here too so when it comes to money that moon on this card even though it's not full i can see the image of the full moon but it's crescent i see the face on the moon it's like the moonlight is blessing this couple um for those of you if this has to do with business maybe it's time to take a break from business 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 and go on a like business luncheon which is a much lighter energy just change change the scenery change your pace and um listen and talk okay bounce your ideas off one another and be in a more casual atmosphere so that um you're more open to one another one another's ideas okay and this will lead you to growth and abundance okay the openness will lead you to that and also knowing you're deserving and speaking speaking up for what you want and need all right aquarius powerful messages here thank you so much for being here please like share and subscribe and i will see you again soon